This is a HeadGum Original. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. And what better timing? Um, <laughs> we could start over if you yeah. want. <laughs> we fucking got his ass on the network. Yeah. Monsieur Bonsignor. <laughs> That's right. Is Bonsignor Italian? Yeah. Damn it. What is it's the. Not French. <laughs> we. Oui. Oui. Uh, are you a perfect person? Let's fucking jump into it. We got Marika Brownlee zooming in from New York. We've got Amir Blumenfeld on the sax. Yeah. Miles Bonsignor. Am mm-hmm. I saying it correctly? Not at I've all. Never but said it's it Bonsignore. Bonsignore. <laughs> when the moon hits your eye like, like a, a big, big pizza, pizza pie, pie Bonsignore. Bon <laughs> See, like, we're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. I don't know how Marika's three hours ahead in New York City, and I'm the one who feels most alienated already. Yeah. Right? I mean, I'm angry today. That. It does feel like it's Amir and Miles against you, which I appreciate. Because already <laughs> Miles against you is like pretty even Turk. <laughs> yeah, we occupy and Amir very similar in the spaces. Really pushes it over the edge. Yeah. Miles, I have to. I was just agreeing, but you can continue talking. You I was going to so say, yeah. You fur- furious at him. <laughs> I, I, I have to admit, I knew, I, so I knew you from Twitter vaguely. Yeah, sure. I think I'd followed you on Twitter because you were verified and you had funny <laughs> tweets. Absolutely not verified. Absolutely don't have funny <laughs> tweets. But I believe I follow, I, you probably saw that I followed you. I don't know what happened, but I remember that we were trying to do a guest swap with the Try Guys. Right, yeah. And then I didn't know you were associated with the Try Guys until we were on that show. Really? And then Miles I was kind was of there. like, Oh, that's so funny. You can't <laughs> grind to a halt <laughs> every like, time I chime in. Yeah. There's no way that'll be a good flow to the app. Listen, no. we're teetering on, we're teeter burrowing on nice. yes. the fucking <laughs> brink between fri- that Friday feeling yeah. and utter despair. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to near, ear, veer us towards <laughs> that Friday feeling. Yeah. But my energy today is sour. And I need y'all to get me on the right course. Yeah, you came in livid. This is my first time at the HeadGum Studio. <laughs> <laughs> you came in, you came in and mad. Yeah, you were like livid off of some meeting you had. Yeah. Yeah, the things like went, didn't go according to plan. Yeah, I got a fucking demotion financially. Marty said I'm not really pulling my weight or pushing weight. So now I'm getting 30 an hour, which doesn't feel fair. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah that's lot. actually yeah, that's more than good. I thought. Yeah, that yeah. you deserve slash got. Uh, here's the deal. I didn't know who you were, then I knew who you you were, and then we did a show together at the Try Guys studio. We did do an episode of the Tripod, a show that I also produce. And Not which, my show on the Head Game Network, though. Right. Separate. This was, Separate. I think, a year before. This was a year before a um, show called The Tripod with my bosses. You came on. Yeah. Was and I realized during the that pandemic? It, it kind Can of you was. you just stay in your fucking lane for five <laughs> minutes while I explain how, to the people out there how Miles and I are best friends? Yeah. Unbelievable. Not yet, no, though. it's not unbelievable. No, because now I feel like everybody kind of tensed up in the studio. And I feel like that <laughs> was. More tense. <laughs> <You're already laughs> tense. We're like having fun. Like, you know, like Me too. Marika no, like, is great. So. You know? Yeah. You have the energy of like a bicyclist who almost just got hit by a car. Yeah, I want to like <laughs> slam on the monster. Yeah. 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 No, you have bicyclist energy. I bison energy. <laughs> bison. <laughs> I'm tiger blood. <laughs> uh, but I realized during that record yeah. and from your Twitter that I feel like we have a ver- very similar sense of humor. A hundred percent, yeah. And then people on Twitter have been begging for the Miles Jeffrey show. Yeah, people want us to collab. Yeah. And so do I. Yeah, and I feel like this might not be the first... <laughs> <laughs> this might not be the first. This might not be the first, but certainly the last. This is the yeah, first, but certainly not the last. Got it. There we go. Yeah. We'll um, probably do something else together if this goes super well. Yeah. And I consider myself a perfect person. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to go on that show and prove it. Yeah, I am curious what you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a you're a flawed man. There's no way. I'm, curious I'm a what jawed you have to say. man. <laughs> like sometimes people will call in and have like real problems. I'm curious like what you're how you're gonna get real in that environment. I'll get real. Yeah. When I'm not in this arena, I can be visceral. <laughs> Visceral. And you do treat it like an arena. <laughs> yeah. Are you not entertained? <laughs> That's really good. Um, do you guys have a voice of God, Mike, speeding? We do. 
Hell yeah. Okay, so awesome. please chime in as much as probable. I'm loving the energy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, they, it's already unraveling, and I know that by minute thirty, yeah. mid segments, I'm gonna need your guys' help. Okay. Um, let's keep it going. Well, okay, Marika, how the fuck are you doing? I'm fine. I'm really <laughs> tired. <laughs> this is a bad. It was a bad idea to go to me for this to keep it rolling <laughs> and lively. I don't know. You weren't even near the mic. You, I you, know. <laughs> I was readjusting in my chair. Marika uh, had a know. magazine. <laughs> Looking at Twitter. <laughs> Gonna go see a movie after this, probably. Um, Did you have to go br- into the HeadGum studio just to record this, or were you there all day? I, I wasn't here all day. I, <laughs> I had a doctor's <laughs> appointment, and I walked here afterwards. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Marika's body's never been at a stasis. No. Okay. I <laughs> yeah. truly I went to this doctor's appointment for one thing and the doctor was like, "That's fine, but here's three other things that are like half a problem <laughs> could be the cause of what you're experiencing." And I was like, "I haven't the time for this." And that's your issue and I want to hear about Miles' medical history soon, but <laughs> you n- don't. You need a non-perfectionist general practitioner, right? Somebody who's just going to band-aid everything and not mm-hmm. try to get you to perfection. Uh, that's the opposite of what she needs. It sounds like she has to get to the underlying issue, and you just want to like give her Advil for like, yeah, just yeah. to like numb out for a few hours. You want to yeah. sweep it under the rug. Yeah. yeah. And arguably, arguably, that's what I was trying to do. I went in for. I keep hearing a gurgling in my ear, and the doctor was like. <laughs> Let's do an allergy test. Also, you have TMJ. Also, your tonsils are three times the size they should be. <laughs> oh, no. I hear getting an adult tonsillectomy is uh, extra painful, more so than yeah. a children's Yeah, he said version. I don't need that. That's the thing. It was all things that were like, you're teetering on the verge of like problems, but yeah. mostly yeah. you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great, guys. <laughs> That's good to hear. You know, I've actually been enjoying some TMJ myself recently. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. How is, is that? Gr- my girlfriend got a grind guard and now she's having jaw problems. And I guess that's a very common thing. Like when yeah. you get the grind guard, it either like messes your bite or mm-hmm. like gives you jaw stress. Mm-hmm. Have you guys experienced that in any way? Grind guard related jaw pain or your, your TMJ predates that? I don't know when it started, but I do wear a retainer to keep my teeth straight, but it, it's definitely like, I'm definitely clenching my teeth all the time. I'm constantly in a state of stress and distress. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it makes sense. It's hard because you're asleep, so you can't really tell yourself not to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm grinding my teeth at night. Got a baby tooth. <laughs> pop that fucker out of there. <laughs> and um, Baby tooth still? No. Well, I had a baby tooth and then it, they popped it out. And then, so I don't have a tooth and I got an implant. Yeah, and I'm waiting for them to screw on a like white part, like the cap. Yeah, okay. so I was so chewing on one side there. of my mouth. There's, there's a, a screw. screw. Yeah, there's a screw. Yeah, in my mouth. Yeah, so it's it, kind of. And you're currently awaiting the tooth implant. Yeah, and so I, I was chewing on one side of my mouth, so I didn't like get any danger there. And then the other side of my jaw was like, "Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> like that sucks." That yeah, hurts now so too. I was kind of. Yeah, the that. doctor was like, you know, if you decide to like go and eat a kind bar, this is literally what he said. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, he's, he's uh, yeah. 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 But Actually, if you eat this kind bar, it has eight grams of sugar and 12 <laughs> grams of protein. He, he was like, maybe don't go for the kind bar and you go for something more like scrambled eggs. And I was like, and what in the world is the same? <laughs> maybe go, you skip yeah. the payday in favor of gruel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. And then um, I came to the office and I ate five packs of Skittles. So, <laughs> Jokes on him, Doc. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. In the mix, it seems like it's not gonna be that loud. Yeah, that's it's because fucking loud. uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Grace Harper does her magic, our new mix engineer. Oh, that's, that's awesome. nice. Um also we didn't congratulate Anya on being the new supervising producer of the fucking show, man. <laughs> Top brass for my fat Woo! ass. That's really exciting. It's nice to see in the fucking credits if there's a whole team that puts this thing together, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's nice it to see. 
<laughs> That's ice to see. I'm a hyper off of coffee, and I'm I I don't know where to place my energy someone, other than into the had microphone. A really good comment on today's episode, and they called you the ghost of cold brews past. <laughs> that <was> really funny. <laughs> That's really good. You are gonna crash, right? You can't Sorry, keep excuse this. me, yeah. Miles. In terms of the the screw that you have coming out of your maw, yeah. are you going to use yeah. that to your advantage? Like to eat something that usually is crunchy to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, are you gonna use the screw to eat something so like a walnut? Like a yeah. Nut are you gonna not crack? <laughs> so you're asking if I'm gonna use my sort of medical situation to crack a walnut with my teeth? Yes. Yeah. Have no. you ever been? Do you ever go to Mendocino Farms? Have you ever been in a writer's? Oh, room? I've been to Mendo. Yeah, the yeah. almost chicken sandwich. The or not so fried. Yeah, that thing will fry the top of your fucking you know <laughs> mouth. Yeah. yeah, unless you have a fuck. <laughs> A Phillips head. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> Did 34. you write this before? It sounds <laughs> oh, like, I'm, yeah. I'm floundering. Um, <laughs> uh oh, the crash is starting early. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, what did we have? <laughs> and even. Uh, let's just get our bonds of the week out of the way. Uh, <laughs> our bond signores of the week. Yeah. <laughs> Miles Bond Signore. Yeah. Yeah. My, you're my Bond of the Week. I think yeah. you're tall. I think you're fit. I think you're married, mm -hmm. which seems to be a weird through line for all the Bond actors. They're they, all married? A weird for the most through part. line? <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> they're in relationships? Yeah. <laughs> You're a laughing stock, man. Yeah. You're a laughing stock, it, it's, man. It's good to see from this angle because you are panicked, like swiping through <laughs> screens on your MacBook. And then you land on yeah. one that doesn't seem like you were trying to get there in yeah. the first place. <laughs> the I've never felt so seen. <laughs> <laughs> the best is when he you watch him choose a sound and then immediately choose another one because he made the mistake. <laughs> Wow! Up, 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 up. Nice. Um, do you guys have any bonds of the week? Producers, casting for the next 007 before it's too late. Uh, Timothy Chalamet with like just like 200 pounds of muscle, maybe. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not um, good casting. Let's go with The Rock, huh? Who? <laughs> <Why not? laughs> let's go with The Rock. See, <laughs> The Rock has had a whirlwind of a honestly three years, but most importantly, last week he is so busily promoting this Black Adam movie that I fear what would happen if it bombed at the box office. I don't know if The Rock could overcome such a, emotional gonna. trauma. It's, got, yeah. it's been getting it's, some bad reviews. That's it's gonna bomb. It's scary, sad for The Rock, who really put his entire seemingly emotional net worth into promoting this film. Not to mention his Dwayne like John Nussie into his it. His what? His Dwayne John Nussie. <laughs> yeah, his Dwayne John Nussie. <laughs> yeah, his Dwayne Nussie. Want to try that one more time? Dwayne Basically, his John Nussie. John Nussie? <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, yeah. he put his rakusi into it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I don't think I still understand what you were trying. To do. My favorite part of this setup is that the people I can hear the most are Anya and Casey. So I just heard like a really loud. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. I I really would have preferred instead of Black Adam, Black Adder, but it's Dwayne Johnson reprising the role. Mm, interesting. Do you ever see Black Adder? No. It's like, oh, greetings, Black Adder. I don't know what that is either. It's Mr. You said, Bean. yeah, though. Yeah, I just wanted him to go on to the next thing. <laughs> oh, sure. Because now we're talking about it. <laughs> Do you think you put your whole Jeffrey Jussie into every episode? <laughs> <laughs> His Balenciennes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've always said my I put my whole Jeff Fussy into it. Yeah, yeah, we don't like when you do How that. How do you feel about foot content? Like, do I have a f thing for feet? Well, I guess you can Let's answer that. It. Let's get into it. Let's get we into can it. get, well, I, we have a whole segment about fetishes later. Basically, uh, <laughs> will you, you start include... crying? <laughs> 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 Forget it. We have a, to wrap up the bonds of the week. You said Timothy Chalamet getting stacked. I want to see him stacked like doing action. but I, I, I think that would be really interesting. Yeah. From Wonka to Bonka. What's Bonka? That's Bond, yeah. uh, but he has a Tonka ass from doing so many squats. Uh, Blumenfeld, are you going to pass or what? Yeah, I think I'll pass this week. Anya, Casey, James Bond, could be anybody. In, anyone you've already mentioned? Is there mm. anyone that's off, off limits for me? No, just you could uh, just cast anybody as the next 007. 
Uh, corn kid. That's pretty good. Oh, it's corn. <laughs> I really like corn. I want him to get like a real, like I want him to have a career out of this. I feel what? bad. Yeah. He doesn't have to helm the, uh, <laughs> one of the most important action movie franchises of all time. I just feel like we're using him and he's going to get like 15 yeah. minutes worth yeah. of whatever and then we're all going to forget him and I don't want that to happen. I don't but think it's fair. He has some kind of like garden green uh, sponsorship so it's like shaken, not stirred and then as he's waiting for his martini he like chomps into a corn on the cob. That's yeah. good. <laughs> I like that. Seal out in casinos. They'd I have feel to like... rewrite the whole concept. He has a fake yeah. ID. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, he is 21. One of, his, one of his gadgets is a fake ID. <laughs> <laughs> um, Marika? Uh, I'm going to go with Megan the Stallion. That's good. Yeah. No particular reason. All right. Um... The, this country produces more cinnamon than any other, per the tasting table. What do you guys think? S- sorry. Am I, supposed start? To, am I supposed to have, like, a, a city? Like, am I supposed to say what city it is? Or am I supposed to say what I think? What country do you think per- produces... I'm sorry, now I'm getting angry again. Produces the most cinnamon. That was so out per of the cap- blue. That, don't you want to be like, all right, let's play food trivia. All right, yeah, like, this is the game. We're going to answer questions. First one to do this, that, and the other. You just launched right into a question about cinnamon. <laughs> this is news of the day. We do this every week now. Okay. So yeah. at least say that. Yeah, at you the didn't very say least. that at first. Yeah. yeah, it's time to move on to news of the day. Okay. okay. This headline w- had to do with the cinnamon output yeah. of a specific nation. Uh huh. I think it's Indonesia. Right. You know though, because you wrote the article. Well, let's get all of our answers in. <laughs> I want to take a swat in the dark and say Iceland. Okay. That's so random. Yeah. Yeah. How weird would it be if it was just America, where it's like, yeah, I guess I figured, but that's not really article worthy. Yeah. Let's go Vietnam. <laughs> Small country. Thoughts? I'll vote India. Mm. Oh, India's a really good guess because it's big. Yeah. Cuba. Interesting. I want to say Anya was the most correct. The correct Indo- I- answer is Indonesia. No, you, you, said the you said that. Well, I so said it, but you. I knew. Yeah. She's the most right alphabetically? What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the New York Times reports that inline skating is back. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, what do we think? I'd like to be one of those cool like TikTokers who does like sexy skating and then yeah. makes sort of a fun music. I think you in like a two-inch inseam with inline skates on the Venice Beach boardwalk would be... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'd be what? cool. It's funny. I think it would do numbers. I don't see what's funny about it. I think it's sexy. Well, you okay? okay well, a lot of inline skates. Are I'm trying to defend you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're not the four top. Yeah. It's the the three in the row. Oh, so three right. instead of four. That's the only that's, difference. Yeah. Wait. So rollerblades are four in a row. Inline is three in a row. No. Anya's okay. giving us a big no for that. <laughs> and share. Are, are when. Rollerblades and inlines are the same. They're yeah. all okay, in a row. Great. Love Roller that. skates. Skates are, are the quads, four. And it's two and two. Yeah. But That's it can what be I three thought. Three or four. I love, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a blader. I'm very bad yeah. on wheels. I can't I ride a bike. I can't get on skates. I just have no balance. I can't even stand on a skateboard. Like, I just have no balance when it comes to wheels for some reason. Yeah. I'd like to get into longboarding because I feel like you don't have to balance as much. But you still That's like, true. You still have to do a little bit. Well, it's a little bit of balancing, but I, I mean, I'm tall, so when I fall, it's like a long distance. Yeah, it hurts. Does that mean you have more reaction time to catch your fall? No. All right. Um, what's scarier, <laughs> supernatural forces or bad parenting? That was an LA Times article headline, and I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. Supernatural forces or bad parenting? Well, I guess bad parenting is like a more consistent evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to make the Twitter... <laughs> <laughs> bad parenting is a more consistent evil. I would say bad parenting is also real and the other one's not. So I would say that's one point in favor of bad parenting. Yeah. Yeah. I would say the inverse of that. Okay. Go. Well. To have to have a kid is good. <laughs> and everyone should do it. I'm having a kid. Are you yeah. is your are you pregnant? Yeah, well my wife is as pregnant. a couple? Yeah, yeah, we're having a baby in December. Wow. That's exciting. Are they going so they're going to be a Sagittarius? No. And that's that. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's yeah. a Capricorn. I'm pretty sure it's a Capricorn. Late December. Late December. Yeah. Late it's December. Late December. Yeah. Um, what are you? I'm a Sagittarius. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank God. You want to get it out of that that realm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? People That's one of the, the nicest things I've ever said to you. Yeah. yeah, and that was still mean. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say bad parenting because it's more common. <laughs> Are we still on this? Yeah, I forgot <laughs> what the question was. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, 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 more often than not, this show is me against everyone else. But I really feel like I'm on the fucking hot seat because I'm on the couch by myself. Casey's laughing in my fucking face. <laughs> Anya's looking at me with pity eyes. Miles took time out of his busy schedule yeah. to be here, mm-hmm. and I feel guilty of it. And Amir's, Amir's in a sour asleep. mood. Yeah. Well, you first messaged me on Instagram July 13th. <laughs> and you said, do you want to do the show sometime in the next two weeks? Yes, I said, receipts. yeah, I'd love to. He didn't respond for a month. Yeah. <laughs> then he responds seven months later, hey, I'm running late. Yeah. <laughs> I hit him back with, hey, just checking in on this, nothing for yeah. two more weeks. Yeah. Until I say, hey, what, just one final time. And I make a little joke. He responds a week later. <laughs> Let's do this thing. (laughs) And then, like, I respond immediately to which he says nothing. This is uh, is all good to know for the new supervising producer. I'm happy to have this info. Did yeah. you, at any point, did you take that personally? Or did you kind of figure For this? sure, but I knew. <laughs> no. but, I, but I knew, I was like, I'm sure he's just busy. No. And okay. Time he respond. No. And, then, and, then, and then Thursday, he said, great, I'm so glad you're doing the show. I'll send you a calendar invite. No calendar invite. That's Never. true as well. And then I got mm-hmm. in this morning, and I was like, I'm psyched to be doing the show. And then and we're I, late. Now, <laughs> seeing the how DM off the rails it is, do you understand that? Yeah. D- now, do you not take it personally? No, 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 I don't take it personally. Okay. I'm, go- I'm good. It, I'm good. I'm glad. And I, um... And I'm happy to be here. I'm ha- I'm happy to have you here. You're one of our best guests thus far. Um, really? <laughs> That's really nice. <laughs> well, who do you think is better than Miles? You can name him. Yeah, rank the... I think uh, Zach Dunn is the goat of this show. Interesting. Yeah. He hasn't been Three on in over club. a year, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we gonna, I should bring him on for an, an end of the year episode to do writing advice too. Because that's my favorite episode of this show we've ever done. Yeah. Over <laughs> a year ago, prep, probably. Yeah. And really yeah. obscure Shut episode because nobody else is on it. Shut up. Okay. Um, <laughs> per, per BuzzFeed News, yeah. a major content house in New York, mm-hmm. your mom's house, has splintered. <laughs> so, what does this mean? Was there an end to that sentence? It seems <laughs> like, like you were going to keep talking. <laughs> I, I don't. You laughed really hard at it, but I didn't. It didn't seem like <laughs> it a, joke. a like, joke. Was it a joke or was it like a news content yeah. house that fa- that fell? Ostensibly, the the content house of New York City, your yeah. mom's house, is experiencing factionism. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm microdosing LSD. Yeah, today. It's cool. yeah, it's clear now. Who's um, in that one? Anybody we know? Your mom's house. Who's in there? Oh, I guess we get a quick. Style, Marika, can yeah. we get a quick numbers crunch on that? <laughs> Is Keo Sir living there? <laughs> we were a big Keo Sir fan. Yeah, house yeah. Over here in this house, we stand, Sir. <laughs> <laughs> do you think we know any of the people? Like, if you listed the people that lived there, do you uh, think we would know them? Do you think Keo has ever been to Big Sir Wise? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go to Deachins for my birthday this year, Deachins? but they won't have me. So just go. Where? It's an inn. It's an inn in Big Sur. Oh my god! I can't afford Post Ranch. I can't afford a camping spot in the winter, so I settled for Deachins. There are no Airbnbs in Big Sur. I looked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you doing a news report right now? <laughs> yeah. I feel like you. Damn, like- Daniel, back at it again with the white. <laughs> What is it about the day that has made everyone angry at May? <laughs> Calories. I still haven't eaten. Yeah, I think it's probably that. You're probably yeah. like, you're probably angry. You might just I'm be a little angry. angry. I'm a little, yeah. What is that? Protein bar? No, 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 no. I want to have a feast. I want to have scrambled eggs. 
What's the feast going to be? You've mentioned the feast like three times. You said, <laughs> I normally don't eat during the day, but then at the end I have a feast. feast. You said that word <laughs> yeah. like a couple of times before we were recording. And then now, what's the feast? <laughs> we, is it like you make a bunch of sweet potatoes or like what's going on? Is it Thanksgiving on? style dinner or yeah. are you just going to have a sandwich at 8 p.m.? <laughs> I'm an air fryer ex Trader Joe's man. Oh, so good. So I just go up and down waltzing uh, hither then thither through the aisles of frozen goods. Yeah. Toss them in the air fryer, three ninety for forty minutes. Forty That's burns. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> uh, usually it's like one or two frozen things. Pigs in a blanket or uh, orange mandarin chicken. That's the really good one. Yeah, not the one with the frozen sauce. They have to boil in the packet. You don't, you don't have, have to boil, boil it. it. You just put it in hot water. <laughs> just put it. We occupy yeah, exactly the same right. space. <laughs> <laughs> I actually that sack is poison. Oh, you're oh. doing the Mark's oh, movies, yeah. yeah. Mirror image. <laughs> Call me Thurbad. <laughs> <laughs> we go to commercial. No. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I guess, um, no, you can plug it at the end. Uh, let's talk about this. Are you rich? No. I'm you're, rich. Well, you're wearing a Corridor sweater. Oh, so my friend works at Corridor. Fucker, everybody knows my other buddies is, is uh, Shout oh. out my friends my my friend Zach Threlkeld. He works at Corridor and he just like he sent me this sweater. And my other buddy's buddy owns Industry of All Nations. I don't, don't know what that yeah. is. How much is that sweater? Is it like a it's like two hundred dollars? It was like a two hundred dollar sweater. I think I got it for like a hundo ten. Yeah. That's and that's a sweater that'll last a life. It's gonna last a long time. And I also didn't have any good clothes. I felt not confident in all my clothes. Yeah, they so were I all was, threadbare. I didn't yeah. want to say anything when you're on the tripod. <laughs> 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 well, they're all like that's shirts. Why he was that, ghosting you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He was going to speak in my outfit. Well, I just was like, I wanted to buy a bunch of clothes that was going to make me feel confident. Yeah. And this sweater, I feel fucking cool and hot in. I, and you look it, too. And I want to ask, and you don't have to answer this, and we'll go to commercial break, either during your answer or right after. Yeah. Uh, has the confidence that the sweater has bared uh, shown dividends in, <laughs> in cash? your sex life? In my sex life? With your, oh, yeah. With my pregnant betrayed. wife, yeah. Yes. Well, well, Jeff, um, it has. Oh my God, that's awful. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you to Faerty for sponsoring this episode of our show, guys. Faerty is all about clothing for life's best moments, right? Whether it's a Friday night football game, the first day of school, or hanging with the family in your backyard this fall, Faerty makes clothes that feel good and make you feel good. Faherty is a family brand that believes comfort and quality are key. It was founded by two twin brothers, Alex and Mike, and Faherty grew out of their longtime love of the surf and mountains, road trips, and beach bonfires. You know the feeling. They're passionate about craftsmanship and sustainability. That's why every piece is designed to be a lifetime favorite. In fact, their clothes even get better with age. I can attest to this. I have been wearing Faherty since far before they started sponsoring the show. Uh, I think since 2017 I was when I got my first Faraday shirt. It was this reversible striped guy that I still have today that I still wear, and it is comfier. They make great clothes. I don't know what else to say. And if anything happens along the way, Faraday will replace or fix your clothes for life no matter what. They're perfect for layering, too. Uh, for a cozy fall vibe. and it even Or even make it easier with a one-and-done jumpsuit. I mean, they have incredible stuff, uh, including their jumpsuits, that I think look great. Jumpsuits are still in fashion. They might always be in fashion. Go pick one up from Faraday. Right now, Faraday is giving all HeadGum Podcast listeners an amazing deal, and that's 20% off every order. You heard me. You get a full 20% off your orders by heading to FaertyBrand.com slash what's that and using code what's that at checkout to get the deal. That's code what's that at Faerty, F-A-H-E-R-T-Y brand.com slash what's that for 20% off. Again, FaertyBrand.com slash what's that. Thanks, Faerty. Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this episode of our show. Guys, I use Athletic Greens every day. I obviously struggle with sleep. Athletic Greens helps me recover when I don't have those full eight hours, right? I wake up, I have my water, I have my Athletic Greens, I have some coffee, I'm ready to go. So what is this stuff? Well, with one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. All the things, guys. 
all right? The taste is very pleasant. Even though it's chock full of all these really healthy for you things, it still has a nice, pleasant, sweet taste. I don't exactly know how to describe it, but all I know is that I like it. Uh, I have gotten my whole family on Athletic Greens now, especially my dad. He's very fit. He does. He works out every day. And now he's on Athletic Greens and is feeling even better. It's lifestyle friendly, meaning whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free, it's all for you. It also contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything while still tasting good. It supports better sleep quality and recovery, supports mental clarity and alertness, and it's the one thing with the best things. Athletic Greens uses the best of the best products based on the latest science with constant product iterations and third-party testing. It also costs less than $3 a day, and you're investing in your health, and it's also cheaper than a cold brew habit. It's also cheaper than getting all the different supplements yourself. I've said this before. I used to take a bunch of pills and vitamins and all that stuff. Now I'm getting it all in one as a nutritional insurance. So right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash what's that? Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash what's that to take ownership over your health and pick up the the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Thanks, Athletic Greens. I walked around the show. And now we're back. And we're back. Um, <laughs> got it. I've been asking a lot of people on this show, especially guests, uh-huh. what's on your sexual bucket list for the rest of 2021? <laughs> well, my wife is going to be... 2022. <laughs> 2022. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> my wife's going to be eight and then nine months pregnant. Right. So I think that a lot of stuff's off the table. But also stuff is newfoundly yeah. slash land on the table. Don't look at me when you talk about that. Shaking news. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess maybe you could start us off. Like, what's something you're looking to adventure um, in the bedroom? And is this like, you don't, you're not seeing anybody. You're sort of single and alone, and you're looking for... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get a full picture. But this is like someone you're meeting on Tinder, and you're like, hey, like, let's go to fucking... And then, like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how close to my house that is. <laughs> how the fuck does he know? Where do you live in town, man? He's out Jeffreying you. <laughs> this is so fucked up. Yeah. Uh, you go and then after like one beer, you're like, let's go back to my place. And she's like, I want to try something interesting. <laughs> and what's that thing? Yeah. So I, one beer, and then I leer, mm-hmm. and I offer to for her to hear. Yeah. Mm. Uh, actually, this is a good question. I don't know. Um, you you opened up the conversation. Harnesses. <laughs> the trunk. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're wait, so wait, wait, nervous. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> like, like a, a fucking like that you're wearing, or like sex swing type of situation. Sex swing type situation is there. I just haven't figured out a way to hang it. And my landlord lives above me, mm. so I'm not gonna put a fucking <laughs> hex screw in the ceiling, all right? I don't know if they're with child or not, but what I have been doing and what I've been trying to make a habit out of doing is practicing Sorry, Casey, but Shibari, What's right? That? It's fucking <laughs> rope Ropes. bondage, man. So you figure out a way to make a harness around someone's thighs. You're on uh, Shibari TikTok? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Instagram. <laughs> and uh, Twitter. Army I'm not Hammer on Shibari style. Twitter. <laughs> don't <laughs> obviously Grace cut that out. I don't want to be in the same category as him because what he did crossed a lot of lines of consent. I'm sorry to say. Yeah. Wait, don't you have to show your ass on Twitter? What's that? Oh, yeah, I saw people were talking about this. That is pending. That is, first of all, patent pending. (laughs) Second of all, (laughs) trademark lawsuit It is pending. Marika knows what's happening. I'm planning something for a grand reveal next Friday. You're doing an OnlyFans for charity? so bad. I'm doing a Lonely Fans for my own fucking mental health, man. (laughs) When does this episode come out? Will that be before or after your butt? Uh, That's going to be before. Probably after. No, uh, well, we're recording next Friday, and that'll come out November 4th. So mm-hmm. if you're watching this mm-hmm. on the 28th, just know that the reveal has happened. Wait. No. That's what? A, today's the 21st. We're recording the 21st. <laughs> yeah. A week come, from today is there, the 28th we were, when you show your butt. two more episodes that are coming out so that we recorded. Fucked up. Yeah. Is yeah, this going to skip those, or is this going to air, like, sometime in mid-November then? Air this next spring? 
<laughs> Here's what's going to happen, right? Okay. Is this good for the listener? Yeah. <laughs> you can ask that any meeting. episode. <laughs> Listen, what I'm going to do, we have two episodes from New York that are banked. Those are going to come out after today's episode just so that I can announce to people that. Wait. No. I'm right here. Let's talk. <laughs> I'm physically shaking because I've had too much caffeine. <laughs> Um, my eye is twitching. Okay. Okay. This episode is coming out on November 4th. <laughs> as Correct. currently scheduled, unless Correct. we want to change that. So you Nay. could announce. Nay! But again, the listeners know when it came out. <laughs> yeah, they're listening to this. They're listening to this. <laughs> yeah, right. right now everybody's listening on November 11th, and we're like, October 28th, maybe. <laughs> Next Friday, October 28th, there's going to be a surprise. During the record, something will... Are you will... saying this is coming out, like, tomorrow? Yeah, who are you talking to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we last, have to move on. <laughs> last we Friday, October 28th, you will have... You will yeah, be exactly. watching this having seen Jeff's ass. <laughs> For a week. My ass is coming, whether anyone likes it or not. <laughs> With a, with consent, because there's going to be a sensitive content warning on Twitter. Otherwise, I'll lose my verification. Why are you doing it on Twitter? Do it on Instagram. Yeah. Instagram, you're off for sure. Yeah, you can you can put porn on you can put porn on Twitter. You can't put it on can't Instagram. put it on Instagram. And you know what, Marika? The fact that you haven't done enough research is exactly why Anya's the supervising producer. <laughs> oh my! We God. have to move on. We have to move on, yeah. <laughs> You've been holding this show together for a really long time, and I don't think anyone talks about that. Welcome to the Hash Cab. (laughs) We should have put it on the. Yeah, because I was like, yeah. What uh, is this? The smart Samsung smart one. It's the the frame. (gasps) Click on. Yeah. 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 Did you make this graphic? I did. That's awesome. I did. Um, Well, we've already played. Gash cabs, so there wasn't that much work to be done. You Sorry, just, you just I think, turned the G into an H. Yeah, <laughs> I guess this is not a heighten from Gash Cab. Yeah, it's a de escalation. Yeah, here's how things are going to go I'm going to ask you guys general knowledge questions about hash. They hash. Start- <laughs> That's pretty good. There are days, man, where I'm like, let's just fucking take it into the courtyard. <laughs> Let's the go. Courtyard? T- what are you going to beat him at in the courtyard? <laughs> uh, f- uh, f- um, fisticuffs. Don't look Fighting. at me. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm going to ask you general knowledge questions about hash browns. Okay. They start Wait. off eat. I just, now I have an image of like a Jeff versus Amir, like Logan Paul versus <gasps> whoever the fuck you fought. Boxing people. match, and I feel like we should do that. People would pay for that for That'd sure. Cool. Yeah, you it would actually like a... want to like put boxing gloves on me and fight me. Yeah, it could be fun. <laughs> I feel like you're secretly buff, but you oh, don't really? tell anybody. I don't know. Do you work out? A lot? I used to work out more. I'm less buff now than I was like in 2018. Oh, okay, Jeff. I don't think I've gone to the gym since April, but I've been walking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a walk off. A walk a thon? <laughs> Two yeah. people on treadmills. First person to hit Santa Monica wins. <laughs> <laughs> the LA Marathon is like in three months. I wonder if we walk it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Let's yeah. walk it. I, or and then we also record it and then it's walk it as I tuck it. Walk it, walk it as I t- How long would it take to walk a marathon? 12 hours. Uh, can I just fucking re, re- <laughs> Now I'm like, like actually a little oh, we're angry. We're derailing you, are we? <laughs> and when you were making this segment, did you make that se- the segment being like, well, Miles is coming on, he knows a lot about hash browns, or was it like you had this banked, and then you were like, he's going to come on and just enjoy the segment? Uh, I sort of panicked last night, and was like, I need to play a game. Cool. And uh, <laughs> That's good. It rhymed with cash. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to ask you general knowledge questions about hash. They start off easy and get harder as you go. And as long as you answer them correctly, you will win uh, a hash brown. So you were in the. I'm surprised these aren't Trader Joe's frozen hash browns. <laughs> these are from the little market near my house. Okay. Uh, Those are good. We should have um, should have heated them so you can actually eat them. Yeah. Um, three strikes, though. For three wrong answers, and you're out of here. 
You can also use one 15 second brownout, which is basically phoning a friend. Uh, do we have a limited option of who we can call or anybody? Uh, no, but you just have to do 15, it's 15 seconds or less, and if you exceed 15 seconds, that's another strike. Got it. Uh, here we go. Marika, do you get it? Or do you have to like, sure. explain it to you like you're five? Okay. Um, true or false? <laughs> Hash browns are a popular American and British breakfast food consisting of finely chopped potatoes that have been fried until brown. True. True. That is correct. I heard uh, Marika first. Actually, I forgot. This is a team effort. Um, oh! In what decade? You were just exercising a demon. Yeah, that was like kind of a moan. <laughs> Never heard that noise come out of you. Uh, I'm actually glad you brought up moans because I used my sleep app last night. Taking your phone out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> your phone is so deep. Is it? Did you record yourself moaning? Um, not on purpose, but yeah, let's get some of the. Oh. Oh. That's in the middle of the night. That's so intimate to hear. No, my God. A noise so private, you don't even know you made it. I can't hear it, which is great. <laughs> oh, no. I was sleeping. I, I was sharing a bed with someone the other night, and I punched them in the face by accident as I was asleep. Interesting. By Somebody accident. you went to birds with. Uh, in what decade was the hash brown appearing on New York City diner menus? What decade? A, the 1770s. No. no. B, the 1890s. No way. C. The 1920s. Wow, that was going to be my guess. And D, the 1950s. I'm going to go 20s. And I guess, are we answering as a unit or do we get three answers? You all get your own answers, but, uh, you know, whatever. So I'll do 20s. 20s is solid. 1890s. But, oh, interesting. Because I was going to go 1950s. So, like, diners that we, you know, see. <laughs> Uh, I f you guys are not a unified front, actually. It's every man for himself. Uh, Marika is actually exactly right. Uh, you guys just got. Two strikes. Uh, none of this well, matters. Weed. True or false, the original <laughs> name for the dish was hashed browned potatoes. <laughs> Say that last <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> potatoes. En enunciate more, too. I didn't really. The original name was hashed browned potatoes. <laughs> Do you know that or Ida is Oregon and Idaho? Really? Yeah. That famous potato company, or Ida. Is actually portmanteau. Did you know that, Marika? I we have didn't. A whole other segment to get to. It's pretty cool, right? It is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to keep make sure that false. people were actually learning shit. True or false? That's mm -hmm. all I'm asking. Uh, yeah, sure. They were called hash true. brown yeah. potatoes. Also, also true. False. <laughs> That's correct. You all have one star. Uh, star strike. Uh, What's correct? <laughs> you just said that's correct. Yeah. You guys were right. We're right. True. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the word hat. <laughs> Got it, man. Yeah. The, <laughs> I'm just trying to the help. The word hash <laughs> is derived from what French word? A. Hosseur. Uh. B. Bronze. Uh. C. Oro. Or D. Haché. I don't remember the question. I wasn't paying attention. And none Can of them sound like hash except for the last one. Can you give us the definitions of each of those? Uh, hausseur uh, is to raise. <laughs> Bronze is to tan. Oro is happy. And haché is to hack or chop. Oh, I'm going to go for haché. Yes, of course D, it's that. It's of course, yeah, if you define it, it's an easy gimme one. You didn't have to. What similar Swedish dish predates hash? A. Moat, B, uh, roasty. <laughs> no way. <laughs> C, yarna, or D, yatfin. Also, this is a really badly Why phrased question. Why is it question. also with Marika? This is a poorly phrased question because those dishes could be anything. It's any, you said what dish predates hash. <laughs> it doesn't have to be potatoes. It could be yeah. literally any food What from similar Sweden. Swedish dish, I should say. And again, you can brown out. <laughs> Brownly out. <laughs> <laughs> By phoning a friend. Well, it's, it's, I, call your, is it? Call your girlfriend. 
Say, Say it's hash. not a hash. hash. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. My mom is not going to answer a text in 15 seconds. Can you repeat them? Time is up. The correct <laughs> answer was Rosti. <laughs> It was you said Italian roasty. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how you, you say it. Say rosty. What is it? <laughs> At first you said wah, and then you, you gave up and said roasty. <laughs> it's like a pan fried potato uh, cake, like a latka. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Somebody said the word of the day. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, fucking. It's time for the brown pan challenge. <laughs> LA is home to many famous diners. Yeah. Name eight notorious LA diners in 30 seconds, starting LA only? Uh yeah, sorry Marika, but LA only. You have 30 seconds. If you can name eight, you will take home this tray of hash browns minus 1. You actually you only get one. Um, I accidentally Googled 30 Seconds to Mars. Here we go. Uh, starting now, eight diners in LA made famous by uh, Hash. Fred 62. Correct. Mel's Drive-In. Yes. Caro's. Yeah, what's that? Caro's. Okay, I trust you. You were born here. Denny's. Oh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one near Ed DeBevix. Ed DeBevix. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, home. Yep. Home. Uh, d- diners. And then, um. You're missing a big one. Yeah. Johnny Rockets. Yep. Um, is that seven? Millie's? Yes, that's correct! <laughs> I'm really loving it. It's right there. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> yeah, it's just really close. Potatoes aren't great. Those are all pl- places that are famous for hash. <laughs> Dupar's. Yeah, sure. Um, Apple pan. Now, you guys have all won a hash brown. Not me though. That's right? a bad sound. <laughs> Obviously not me though. <laughs> and we're losing money Allie was... as this goes on. <laughs> I'm not done yet because y'all can double down on, on the brown. Browns. You can double yeah. brown. Uh, double brown <laughs> by naming the movie that this quote is from. Are you guys gonna double brown? I yeah, think sure. so, yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll give this shit. It's a good thing you didn't wear hash browns. <laughs> Sit, we're going to need to hear that. No, you again. can. Uh, I, you got, <laughs> no. It's a <laughs> one time <laughs> only thing. He doesn't want to give up the browns. I think he thinks if we hear it. <laughs> well, he it's a good thing you didn't wear hash browns. Well, he needs the hash browns for his feast later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be mostly hash, yeah. Casey, does that sound familiar? Wait, to you? can you see? Can you play it again? <laughs> It's a good thing you didn't wear hash browns. It God. does sound familiar. Is it yeah. from uh, Six Crazy Pieces or whatever? You know the movie with Jack No, Nicholson? that's just what's in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> Another Six commercial. Six Crazy Pieces. <laughs> is it from... No, it's not with anyone. It's the movie where Jack Nicholson is like... Five Easy Pieces. Five Easy Pieces. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't that it's far It's a good thing off. you didn't wear hash browns. <laughs> <laughs> is that a famous actor? Who's the actor? Uh, I don't know who the like actor Christian is. Christian Slater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a good thing you didn't wear hash browns. It, it sounds Entourage? like a cool guy. I'll, uh, I'll give you two hints. Okay, is it a Quinter? 2001. Movie? Okay. Kind of a cult comedy classic. Oh, two. is it that movie that you really like that nobody really likes? Big Fat Liar. Yeah. Uh, Swingers? Wow, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. guess. That was the 90s, though. Um, I am sorry, guys, but... um. <laughs> but you doubled or nothing and you lost is there- the hash. <laughs> Is it Fast Times at Ridgemont High? Marika stance right now. <laughs> she so has a confident. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that before the 2001 yeah, as well? Marika looks like an older woman who just had an affair. <laughs> Is it made? Uh, it was from Super Smoking. Troopers. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. Uh, this is kind of fucked up, but we have another segment. Uh, what did you just look at suddenly? I don't know. <laughs> I had the, uh, oh, here it goes. I guess I should just stop screen sharing because then it goes to the logo, huh? Is this all going in? 
I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I'm like, I, <laughs> yeah. I graduated high school early. Yeah. You I did? had a 4.0 GPA. I got a th- 2340 on my SATs. That's I'm a very smart person. And then now what I look what I found myself. Yeah. That's really smart. A 2340? Yeah. Back when it was on the 23 2400 scare scale. Scare. I'm a fucking dumbass. Uh, <laughs> welcome to and I actually do need to screen share again. This is fucked oh up. My God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Welcome to Hash or Brown. <laughs> That's where you either have potatoes or me. <laughs> or, so you either have or half potatoes. All right. Uh, this is a segment I like to call the Miles Diggs test. Miles, do you know your Myers Briggs? I think I was like an ENFP like a long time ago, but I haven't taken it in a while. Interesting. You got to come at things with more judgment. Um, what does that mean? Like, I should be more discerning about the test that I take, or I should have taken it sooner. Casey. <laughs> like, <laughs> are you gonna really going to let him talk to, talk to me like, like that? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what we're going to do, the name of the game is Miles Diggs. Uh, Miles, you are going to yeah. re-up on your Myers-Briggs. Let's do it. And w- Well, <laughs> hang on a second. You're going to figure out your personality of the 16 personalities, and while you do that, we're going to sort of take unrelenting digs at you. We're going to bully your ass. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. You regularly make new friends. Uh, yes, answer? I agree. Uh, are you sure? Because <laughs> uh, sadness behind your eyes says otherwise. <laughs> Seems nice. Yeah. No, I <laughs> do. Nice but way. yeah, thanks. Uh, you you kind of suck. I fully agree. <laughs> You have a sadness. <laughs> yeah, you came. You are sad. It seems like yeah. you have a lot of. Yeah. Uh, you don't. Can a mirror take this at the same time? Because I really want to know what a mirror is. It might be opposite. I don't take kindly to people changing the segment midway. <laughs> it's not. It's, we just started. <laughs> we can change. Yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. I can also it's been one question separately and do it for mirrors. Okay. Yeah, there's that only sounds one fun, and that's whiz. that's that. What's supervising producer energy. I love it. Yeah, it's good. Ever What's the website, Jeff? Oh, the website. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> 16personalities.com forward slash free dash personality dash test. <laughs> Seems like the Bank hash, of America, too. Hash using. Brown game. Probably yeah, do you guys want to see my finances? Yeah. yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Bank of America. It might kind of impress you. Are you going to open? Oh, this feels like the moan that we saw. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't want to. Oh, my Lord. I don't want to see. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I, my uh, God, alert. Oh. oh, so what I do is this is what I'm allowed to spend for myself. This is rent each month, and then this is my savings, and that's particularly high at the moment because I just was in a Shopify commercial. <laughs> that's good. I was just in the a low Shopify. balance alert is is tough. But. Well, I, ha- I have to have discipline, otherwise I'll spend it all on a fucking watch. <laughs> <laughs> He's Jeez. just collapsing. Yeah. But you I would agree that I regularly... Put... <laughs> <laughs> He's melting. I'm trying to get a fucking word in that slide. <laughs> <laughs> and you played three sound effects. <laughs> With only half of them. Also, you should put the sleep... Sorry, hold for sound. <laughs> By the way, Casey and or Anya, if you guys could flag that at before it happens, that'd be great for the edit. Yeah. You added, you added that sound. <laughs> 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 this, uh, this might be the cr- the most unhinged episode we've ever done. <laughs> Don't just say agree or disagree. Like you have to say. I said yeah. <laughs> yeah I you said you which one? Yeah. Agree or it's disagree. on a sliding Don't scale of seven. Agree. Full agree. Full I agree, agree. so agree. hard. Okay, I, I make lots of new friends. And then and Blumenfeld. Mirror? Uh, no, I mean, I don't not make friends, but I don't make new friends that easily. So I would he'll go, go in the middle. The smallest green, yeah. Okay. You spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Yeah, for sure. Maybe like middle agree. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I sort of have the same hobbies as that I always had, but yeah, I, I explore, I guess, various random things. Here's I'll the go next the hobby smallest to explore. Green. Say that again? Here's the next hobby to explore. When you get out of the shower, little CeraVe, right? Okay. You just learned how to pronounce that last week. <laughs> <laughs> Marika, I feel betrayed. <laughs> She's drinking milk. I've never Yay! seen that before. <laughs> Full glass of whole. Give me the smallest green circle for my answer. Okay, seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. Uh, no, full uh, disagree. Yeah, I'm a hard sociopath. Disagree on that one. Well, well I think it's just like I've already cried all the tears I need to cry. Yeah, what and do I'm you just mean? Like this doesn't affect me whatsoever. I think it's like oh yeah, like that's sad for them and I'll comfort them, but it doesn't make me need to cry. Okay. Okay. 
So, okay. What if you're white? <laughs> both of you. <laughs> a hard disagree for both of you is scary. Maybe yeah. not hard. Like, it makes me sad, but it doesn't make me cry. I'm not, I don't cry, really. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You have <laughs> Don't be uncomfortable by that. No, I, I, I also <laughs> don't cry, but it's for different reasons. What's that? What are My bone gland dysfunction. Really? <laughs> God, you're so fucking proud of that. Yeah. The way you say it so fast and good. I don't do it because I have, like, emotional, like, death. Blockages, and, like, Blockages yeah. and traumas, but yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. your thing's cool, too. <laughs> I also have hypercholesterolemia, so I have like art- arterial blockages. Let's do the next. You should one. probably eat breakfast then. <laughs> if Sorry. I have c- high cholesterol, dude, <laughs> I'm trying to not <laughs> have <laughs> Anya. <laughs> Don't look at Say Anya. something. <laughs> you often make a backup plan for a backup plan. Uh, no, I fucking go with the flow, baby. But maybe like f- first, no. Okay. No, nah, I'm a you, I'm a big purple circle for that. Yeah, the biggest one. Yeah, disagree. You you usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. Yeah, full agree. Yeah, I would agree too because this has been a pressure cooker. <laughs> Not really. It has been hot in here. We're, we're kind of a pressure cooker of a podcast. Yeah. yeah, I'll do a similar medium green circle. Okay, it's getting hot in here. So, so take let's off. Do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or the next question. <laughs> At social events, you rarely introduce yourself to new people, and you mostly talk to the ones you already know. Uh, no, disagree. Middle. I mean, I talk to people I know, but middle disagree, probably. Okay. Uh, I'm a pretty firm agreeer on that. Just I don't like talking. Cr- that was 10%. There's 10 pages. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's not fucking finish this, because we. Uh, it's 52 minutes. Okay, what do you just think you are? ENFP? Probably. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Everybody dig a dig at Miles. You that sucks. One, yeah. yeah, you only went through one of these. But yeah, yeah ENFP, and the digs, probably. the digs premise sort of fell by the wayside very early. <laughs> I think we spent too much time yeah. on the potatoes, quite frankly. This show has segments to move things along when there isn't momentum. This episode has had so much momentum, I feel like we didn't even need them. If this had been a wax, yeah. we would have gotten a lot out of your ax. Yeah. yeah. I'm good at waxing, but I don't know about this. Yeah. We gotta, next time when you come on, we gotta do a two-parter because we do have to wrap things up and I feel like we, I could go for another hour. Yeah. We have to wrap things up. Cool. Yeah. Would you come on again? Uh, yeah, I would come on again. <laughs> but only because I'm, like, a little worried about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what Melanie Bracewell said. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Don't. And she, that was two years ago she was on this show. Yeah. Your yeah. recall for the episodes that happened just once with one guest years ago is honestly alarming and alerting i'm i'm scared for the more important things you've forgotten because you have this recall for these really obscure guests that we've had on this show when did melanie bracewell say that to you 2019 (laughs) when you have an ass for a boss spank it (laughs) when you have an ass i got that okay i get that so like spank me. <laughs> spank a mirror? Wow. I'm still figuring it out. Like sometimes, yeah. And you have an ass for a boss. <laughs> spank spank it. it. My disgraced boss was the Haggis Baggis last week. Kind of makes sense. I didn't think you were gonna see that. Because <laughs> it came out today. <laughs> well, I tuned did. in. I tuned in to just be like, well, I wonder what the show's gonna be. And then I was like, oh, that's interesting. They don't have a TV in all of it, but there's like a square that looks like a TV. How's your sex life? I feel like we never talk about that. I feel like I could. He's going back in. You do you. <laughs> <laughs> Plugs. Miles, what do you have going on? What do you want to point the people towards? Um, yeah, if you liked this for some reason, um, you can go listen to my podcast, Perfect Person, now on HeadGum. Yes. 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 EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> yeah. We uh, take calls from people like Jeff who are struggling emotionally and. Um, then we solve their problems on the show. To make them a perfect person. To make them a perfect person. And do you consider yourself a perfect person? I do, because being perfect means never having to say you're sorry. <laughs> so you don't cry, you don't say I'm sorry, you won't have this really, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, I won't, I won't, yeah. I won't dive into the goss. But um, no, I do consider myself perfect um, only because I feel like I'm able to help others. Yeah. With my it's work, really cool. with your sexual prowess, the sexual prowess and stuff. It's but powerful. how is the sex? He asked about your sex life, and you didn't really. You kind of dodged the question. I'm not a perfect person. <laughs> Who's that? Nickelback or some shit? Um, and the reason is you. 
<laughs> Creed? The reason. Who Hoobastank. That's where you've heard Casey the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> <Your butt. laughs> Casey's wearing a Hoobastank shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Off screen. Um, anything else? Social media? Uh, at Miles Bun on the gram. Patreon? Um, Patreon, yeah. The Perfect Person also has a Patreon. We have platinum episodes that are just like bonus episodes and stuff. And then we have a premium version of the show that's ad free and has like bonus calls and stuff. So love that. Hit it up, baby. Um, <laughs> are you okay? No, I, I literally <laughs> am like so someone's <laughs> supposed to end the show. Yeah. I am so anxious right now. I also feel guilty because my friend Sarah needed me to help move a couch in my truck after this, and then she couldn't. It's not really my fault, but she couldn't because the offer up person had to push earlier to one, and I was like, I'm at recording. Yeah. So I just feel like I wronged a friend. Yeah. I was late to this. Yeah. And ultimately, uh, my weekend doesn't start till 9 p.m. tonight. So that's where I'm at. At, at Jeff Boyardi on Twitter, we got to 10,000. I'm going to be bearing whole. You get to 10K on Twitter? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. On next Friday, a week from today. So wow. although when this comes out, it'll already be out. I, this, this is why I don't like banking episodes, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you what do you uh what do you want to plug? <laughs> Watch a perfect person. I'm going to be on it. I'm going to be honest. I haven't asked you if I could be on it. You can be on it. All right, I'm going to be on it, guys. I'm going to be on it maybe. You can you run the network. You yeah. can Yeah. <laughs> I'm on it. Marika. And the reason is you. you. <laughs> uh, listen to Hooba Stank. There's no um, way. Why not? <laughs> watch the end of Hot Rod where Rod wakes up and just says Hooba Stank for some reason. Um, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Letterboxd at Marie Gaylon. What I'd movie like are you seeing today? Sorry. The Banshees of Inertia, whatever that word is, the yeah. new Martin I'm extra Dunham sorry movie. For cutting you off because yeah. I don't really know what that movie is. Yeah, what but I'm curious. About, well, I was gonna say shout out to Marika's Letterbox because I'm I'm a follower and it's really good good cinema. Miles, thank you. Mm-hmm. Good critiques. Are you gonna see Black Adam? I was going to, but now I just kind of don't care enough because it's so. Seemingly so bad. I'm worried about Dwayne. He's pouring his heart and soul into this film, and he just can't quite encourage people to see it fast enough. Yeah. Unfortunately, do you and think there's going to the be a post credits scene with the, just a Marvel movie because yeah. he's given up entirely? I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah. He's really, he really, really wants this to be his thing. I don't think so, though. Yeah, I don't think it's it gonna just go. doesn't feel because I've never heard of Black Adam before. The never signed on, no. No. and that he was already starting in a position of weakness with that. But he's been doing his best to sort of push this boulder up a hill. It's a Sisyphusian <laughs> task, it seems, to market this movie. For sure. And if the Rotten Tomato score isn't there, it's annoying that it just gets boiled down to that. Like the next Why season of newcomers <laughs> is going to be a mirror watching the DC universe. <laughs> but it's just information and news about Washington, DC. It has nothing to do with <laughs> <laughs> Political cartoons yeah. that you've never seen before. <laughs> um, well, this one's interesting, but I just don't know what the Gilded Age was. Can we see it on the screen? Or mm, it's kind of <laughs> too right of center to show. <laughs> this one's a far side. It's fine. This one's a far side. <laughs> um, Anya Casey, plugs Pitwall. Uh, yeah, listen to the Pitwall, an F1 podcast. I'm on it. Jeff's on it. Marika's on it. Anya's weirdly not on it. Anya's you watch F1? It. Of course I do. She does not. No, you don't. <laughs> she just, she doesn't watch no, you it. don't. I watched one season. I don't know why I believe show. it. One's, oh, yeah. She doesn't watch the races, which uh, we no exclusively way. talk about on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think I could chime in and, and tell you guys every time every time the Ferrari boys are on, they're cute. And that, I think, is good content. Okay. That we is good get, content. We could get Anya on the show. Yeah. That is a cutie Guessed of the week segment, yeah. right? Yeah, that's kind of. I'll just come in for just that segment and leave. Yeah. Come yeah. in for hot day of the week and then leave. Yeah. By the way, we mostly <laughs> record on Sunday nights and Monday nights. There's gonna be uh, well, I guess we've been doing Mondays. Monday yeah. afternoon. And kinda. don't say we because you skipped last week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you remember to watch, <laughs> I you're I, on it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you're not part of that thing. Don't insert yourself. <laughs> you're not a we. You're barely a me. <laughs> 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 Everyone's laughing at you. 
take that feeling and go into the weekend with it. Aww. It's just simply at nine p.m. <laughs> You're. Why not. does your weekend start at nine p.m.? I have a Patreon Zardy. <laughs> It's a Zoom party. We <laughs> hang out with the party. Oh. It's the people who pay the highest tier. We get to j- kind of drink a Negroni. So uh, people we are have paying. another session. Oh. Yeah, we got to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would like to say that I got a little bracelet that says wise Aww. to oh, remind myself cool. to be nice. wise. Are you walking <laughs> out? <laughs> 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 That was a HeadGum Original.